Who said, give me liberty or give me death? My teacher. With you in her class, I can understand why. You didn't read this, did you? Well, I wasn't expecting trick questions. Hey, it says right here in big, bold letters, Patrick Henry, Voice for Freedom. But who cares about history? That stuff's already happened. I want to live in the future. Well, in the future, you'll be still trying to pass the third grade. <laughs> Don't touch that! <laughs> Miss Krause? Yes? Who turned up this thermostat? I did. Some fool turned it down. Well, the fool's doing it again. <laughs> it's way too warm in here. It is perfect in here. At least it was until you came along trying to change everything. Now, leave it alone. I'm sorry, Miss Krause. I must insist. If you insist, Benson, you will be sorry. It stays where it is. That's your opinion. And a very good one, I might add. <laughs> good morning. Oh, no, it isn't. Right, that's what I meant. The total disaster is what it is. It's all over. We're finished. Now, where is he? I don't know. He's not here. Well, we have to find him before she sees that newspaper. I know that. Listen, if it's something I can help with... Just staying out of the way, Benson, would be a big help. Thank you. And I'd like some coffee. So would I make enough for two. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to break this news to the governor. Me? Why should I be the one to tell him? Well, you're his secretary. Well, you're his aide. Mm. Oh, he's gonna be furious. Oh, sure. That's why you wanted me to tell him. Governor, he is liable to... Morning, Governor. Oh, oh, good morning. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you, too, Taylor. <laughs> morning, Katie. Morning, Miss Miss Cross. Well, it certainly is a beautiful day, isn't it? Birds chirping away, big cotton ball clouds floating across the sky. It's mornings like this that make a person feel good all over. Do you want to bed? <laughs> Sir? Yeah. Well, thank you. All I need now is my paper. The, uh, newspaper. Yeah, for some reason, I couldn't find mine this morning. I couldn't find mine either. The dogs beat me to it. It is. They only got the paper. <laughs> uh, actually, the newspaper wasn't printed today. Uh, it was a Strike. holiday. <laughs> ah! The thing was, it, it was a holiday strike. They were striking for more holidays. Oh. I didn't hear about a strike. The, the library, library boys. boys. The, the library, library boys. <laughs> I'll send someone for the newspaper while they work out their act. <laughs> All right, sir. I withheld the paper from you. You're not going to like it today. No Doonesbury? <laughs> I'm afraid that the lead story has to do with an alleged remark you made about Senator Engelhardt. An unfavorable remark. Well, what was it? Oh. You are quoted as saying that if Senator Engelhardt's brain were put into a bird, it would fly backwards. <laughs> this is serious, Benson. Senator Engelhardt controls the crucial votes on the governor's insurance reform bill. Without his support, the entire program's in jeopardy. Ah, so everything's riding on the bird brain. <laughs> Would you mind not doing that while we're talking? You have an office for your meetings. Oh. <laughs> Let's face it, Governor. We have a leak. Oh, I'm sure Benson will get it fixed. No, this is important. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that information could only have come from this house. Or well, someone in it. <laughs> Exactly. Someone who heard you say it and leaked it to that reporter. Someone who has your complete confidence. Someone on the staff. Someone who is... Okay, okay, we get the idea. 